Well, viewers, here we are at CES, and we have Gary Coe from Genesis. Gary, how are you? Great, Peter. Thanks for coming into the room. It's great to be here. Uh, you've Genesis has been exhibiting at CES since 1992, is it? Yes. It's a long time. It's a long time. And then you bought the company and took the company over in what year was it? 2002. 2002. And you've been yeah. coming almost ever since. We've coming. We've come every year since 2002. Oh, okay. So this is my 15th CES. And it's getting long in the tooth for all of that. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens for next year, but since yeah. we're here and the sound is exquisite, uh, walk us through the system, please. Okay, the, the sauce that we are playing with is uh, VPI Vanquish. Now, if you look at the price list, of, uh, the VPI's price list is not on the price list because it's a custom order, mm -hmm. the price on application unit that is a direct drive version of the Avenger series. Oh, well, I can see here and here's the umbilical viewers over to the yep. drive unit because that drive unit, the three buttons, is the drive unit that was on the classic direct. There are no belts or anything, so it's a direct drive. Mm -hmm. This is the first time you'll see the fat boy. It's a brand new toad arm. That's, this is uh, one of the first. I think uh, Matt gave me fat boy number two. Mm -hmm. So this is second uh, of that brand new arm that will be shipping towards the end of March, I think he said. How about that? And down here we have your electronics, I see. And we've got the Genesis Gold Phono. I usually bring my, my two box platinum, but this year I was lazy. I didn't want to carry that, that huge transformer. Mm -hmm. So this is the one box Gold Phono. Mm -hmm. the, it's a plug and play unit. There's no ability for you to load. There's, it does not require any loading. Okay, does it sense a load? Does it adjust it or is it fixed? No, the, the reason you load a cartridge is because there's this tank circuit that gets created by the termination of the, of the cartridge, the tone arm cable, and the impedance of the cartridge. That tank resonance usually is a frequency above 100 kilohertz. But that tends to swamp the first stage of amplification of many phono stages. So you load it to damp that down. Mm -hmm. The Genesis phono is designed different. The Genesis phono is designed as a shaped um, amplifier so you don't amplify RIAA equalize and amplify again. The amplifier is amplifies the signal in the shape of the RIA. Oh, in the shape, I understand. Okay. And being the shape of the RIA, it already eliminates the tanks, the 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 tank resonance. Understood. Hmm. Doing it that way, you you create a one stage amplifier that amplifies that perfectly without having without needing any loading. So you get this wide open sound stage. You get this. The, this exquisite highs and incredible lows. Well, it was sounding real good when we walked in and we're about ready to play a little ambus song for the viewers. Before we do so, I said at Viola Labs, uh, we have the amplifiers here in between the speakers. Now that, a that unit amplifier, is, excuse me. That unit is an integrated amplifier that just knocked my socks off. You know, the first time I heard it, you know, Paul sent it to me a few days before the, we had the ship for the show. I listened to it and said, okay, we are shipping with it, we are running with this show. Oh, good. It's his brand new design, it's 125 watts a channel, and uh, I've got to say, it's one of the best amplifiers of any price I've ever heard. And but, the beautiful speakers, uh, what model are these? The beautiful speakers, <laughs> these, are the, these are the, I call them the maestros. The Genesis 5 series has been around since 1993. Uh, this would be probably the sixth generation of the 5 series. But instead of giving it numbers upon numbers, I decided to call it the Maestro. Wow, and uh, it's, uh, it's the latest version of the 5 series. It's got four, four 8 inch woofers. You notice that it's organized like three different cabinets. It's yeah. actually three different loudspeakers. There is a crossover in each of the sections, but it sounds seamless. Well, viewers, you can see through, you can see the curtain lines behind, so that is not an optical illusion. These are separate cabinets. Look at that. Beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful finish. So I've improved it with uh, better drivers. The crossover has been totally revised for this. Mm -hmm. It's now a five-way loudspeaker, and um, it's got three separate crossovers to organize everything. Well, good. Well, can we listen to some music next? Of course. That's what we're here for. Here we go.
Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It's gonna be a bright, it's gonna be bright, sunshine. See the curtains hanging in the window in the evening on a Friday night. The little light shining through a window lets me know everything is alright. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. I'm going through the jasmine. In my mind See the paper laying on the sidewalk A little music from the house next door So I come out to the doorstep Through the street and across the floor In my mind Summer breeze Makes me feel fine Flowing through the jasmine In my mind In my mind Summer breeze Makes me feel fine Falling through the jasmine In my mind Thank you, Gary, for your hospitality today at CES, inviting the viewers into your room. The sound is wonderful. It's full-bodied. It's emotionally involving. It's very coherent from top to bottom. Great dynamics, great microdynamics, very, very good sound. Uh, this speaker model, again, is the... is the Genesis Maestro. Again, viewers, the Genesis Maestro. Check and, it out. Yep. And the amplifier is the Viola Corel. Yep. Superb match. It's all right. about the handshake between the amplifier and the speakers, and this is a, a match made in heaven. Thank you. Thank you.